winner of the Golden Award in the Swallow class is Molly. Molly has been amazing with her writing this week. Well done, Molly. And she's done worked really, really hard on her maths too. And she's kept going. She's been really determined. And um, we all felt very proud of her. Well done, Molly. This week's Golden Award for the Red Kite class goes to Mariam. Now, Mariam, I could give this award to you every week for the effort you put into every single lesson um, every single day but I wanted to give this award to you for one particular reason and it's for our PE lessons. Now in PE we've been doing football and I was really really impressed yesterday with the effort that you put into the game. You really got stuck in, uh, you were fearless in your tackling, um, your skills are improving every week and it's just lovely to watch you play. So thank you so much for um, all the effort, being ready to meet the challenge, even though you might have been a bit nervous about playing against some of the other children, um, but fantastic football skills and keep it up. My Golden Award for Sparrowhawk class this week is gonna to go to Jo. Now Jo, the reason I have chosen you this week, there are a number of reasons actually, but the first thing is I feel you've been trying really hard and always showing me that you're ready for the lesson. You're in a seat where you have to turn yourself round. You're always ready, turn round, listening. Whenever I clap, your hand is up, you're ready to go. In maths, you've been able to show me that you're able to work independently and get on with your work and I can have a check through later. And in literacy this week, where we were planning and writing our um, poems ready to perform on Friday, you wrote something really, really beautiful, and I was just su super impressed with your fabulous English work. So, well done, Joe, absolutely super stuff. Hello, my Golden Award this week goes to Jamie. Well done, Jamie. You have been absolutely fantastic this week. Jamie has been trying really, really hard to use all of our words of the week as much as possible. Um, and it's been really fun to see how he's been getting those in and using them. Um, he's also, as usual, been really on the ball with his maths, working really hard. Um, he's also did something that made me really proud this week. Um, we had our circle time about uh, bullying week and he talked about a time where he had been an upstander and it was just really lovely for him to share that and it made me really, really proud. So well done, Jamie. Congratulations. Bye-bye. Hello everyone, we've had another fantastic week in Swift class. Um, the child we have chosen for our Golden Award this week always meets the challenge and he has been working really hard on poetry. He has a real love of poetry and he writes poems most days. He will write poems about subjects that you ask him to. So he's just finished writing a lovely poem about a penguin. He has worked really hard with his handwriting and he's already using a pen, so we're really proud of him. So this week our Golden Award goes to Killian. Well done, Killian. Hi, this week's Golden Award in Kingfisher class goes to Maya. Um, Maya is phenomenal when it comes to her English work. She is a very, very capable reader um, and her writing um, is also wonderful. But what has really impressed me over the last couple of weeks is the way that she has really worked on the feedback that I've given her um, for the things that she needs to do to improve her writing. And as a result, she is now producing um, pieces of work that I think are the sort of work that you would find much, much higher up the school. So I'm gonna be very cheeky and I'm going to read you something that Maya wrote today. This is just the start of our story. Um, that she has written out herself. So it's her version of our story. It says, a long time ago, a man and a woman were traveling along a dusty gray track to Bethlehem. Wearily, the donkey plodded with its heavy load on its back. The sweet, cute baby was held tightly in the woman's arms. Courageously, the man led me for a year and a day towards Bethlehem. That's just the beginning. Um, and I'm so impressed with the adjectives that she's used, the adverbs that she's used. So she started her sentences um, in really, really interesting ways. Um, and yeah, just worked on everything that we've asked her to do. So well done, Maya, you really deserve it. You know how proud of you I am because I told you today um, that I thought your work was amazing. Um, well done, you are Kingfisher's golden child. This week, I would like to give Noah the Golden Award. Here is his certificate. And the reason I want to give Noah the Golden Award this week is because 
he sometimes finds writing a bit tricky, but he is really persevering and I'm so, so pleased that he is because he has so many wonderful ideas. He's read loads of books. He has the most incredible range of vocabulary. If you ask Noah what any word means, he can tell you straight away. And so it's just such a pleasure to see all these great ideas going down in, on his, in his writing. So well done, Noah. You really, really deserve this one. This week's Golden Award goes to Tilly. Tilly is one of the newest members of the class and she's doing such a good job at showing the other children how to be respectful and kind and patient. I feel so lucky that you've moved to Lark Rise, Tilly. I have loved having you in my class. You are a dream. Hi everyone. The Golden Award this week for P is going to Rufus in the Sparrowhawk class. Rufus, I'm giving you this award this week due to your determination in every single thing we've been doing in the Quad Kids Invictus Challenge. You are a great role model to other children in your class. You are always focused. You are always giving me 100%. Let's keep it up. Well done. Hi, Mr. Dempsey here. This week, I get to award the Golden Award for the Lapwing classes. I've been quite fortunate. I've been able to teach them all week so far. So this week, I've actually not been able to pick one, but instead I'm going to go for two. So my first Golden Award this week, I actually want to award it to Harrison. Harrison, I want to give you this award due to your increased focus using your Chromebook. At the start of the week, we did have a conversation about proper use for the Chromebook, and you've taken everything on board of what we've been talking about, and the work you've been producing in English is just phenomenal. It's just amazing. You've really focused, there's detail in your work, and you're really improving, so well done. My second award this week for the Lapwing class is going to go to... Martha. Martha, I'm going to give you this award for all of your writing you've been doing this week. I've just been literally blown away by everything you've done. So I've got your book here, so I'm just going to show it off. So this is One Day's Lesson, and we were looking at firework poetry. And then the next day, we were looking at play scripts. And again, a load of work using brackets, really following what we've been talking about in the lesson. And just reading your work, it's amazing. So well done, Martha. Keep it up. So, hello children. This week there's going to be two Golden Awards for Tony Owls. The first one is for Freddy. Um, Freddy is having the Golden Award because he has really met the challenge by changing his attitude. Uh, it isn't always easy for Freddy to follow instructions and join in with um, things in the class and in the past week he has turned it around. He's been joining in much more and I've seen such a mature attitude from him in dealing with um, things that he finds difficult and he even wrote me um, a letter um, explaining how he was going to try to change his attitude and he's done it. And I really, really, really admire him for that. So well done, Fred. You've really, really about the challenge. Total inspiration. And the second person is Isaac. So Isaac is getting this golden award because I've been saying since September, Isaac, remember your cap letters and full stops. Remember your cap letters and full stops all the time. And he just keeps forgetting. And sometimes I was getting a bit frustrated with him. And yesterday he was a trying to show me some work and I said Isaac you need to check check your cap letters and full stops and he said oh I was actually coming over to see if you if you thought it was good enough because I've been trying really hard and I looked down at his page and it was so much better than any other work he's done before he had really really put massive effort in um, so well done Isaac you've also changed your attitude fantastic and also I've noticed Isaac being a really good friend um, he's been very caring, there's been a couple of children upset about things and Isaac has been really caring and friendly towards them. So thank you Isaac, because being kind is another one of our values at Lark Price. Well done Isaac and Freddie. Golden Award in Starling class this week goes to Poppy. Poppy has been a super starling basically every day since she joined year three, but this week we've been super impressed with her writing. She's really listening to the feedback we're giving her, which means she's making 
loads of improvements to her writing really, really quickly, and it's showing. And I think she's feeling really, really proud of it too. So she's really trying to be the best she can be. She's also a really kind friend. I've noticed her on more than one occasion helping a certain person in our class to tie their shoelaces while he learns how to do it. So Poppy, just keep doing what you're doing and thank you for being a super styling. Hi there, this week's Golden Award in Year 6 Heron class goes to a young man who is always, always, always being the best that he can be, meeting the challenge, being kind and caring and leading by example. So this week's Golden Award goes to Sammy in Heron class. Well done, Sammy. Hello, it's Mr Finch here and I'm here to tell you all about who has won my class's Golden Award this week. Yes, it's Blackbird class and here it is. The award goes to Amar. Yes, Amar, it's you. I see how hard you're working. I see you coming straight in and doing your fast five. I see you putting your best work into your maths and your best work into your English and your best work into everything else. I see you working hard, taking care being a great, great learner. I see that every day and I'm so proud of you. So that's why you're in the Golden Award because you meet challenge every single day. Well done and keep it up. Okay, thank you teachers. So lovely to hear why all of the children who got the awards today made it into the Golden Award book. Fantastic. We are very proud of all of you. Have a wonderful weekend everybody. Um, make sure you rest up and have lots of fun with your families and we will see you back here at school next week for another fun filled week. Um, we'll finish our assembly with a lark, cross, hot clap. Are you ready? Thank you very much. The best. See you soon. Bye.